MSADA stands for Music, Life Skills and Destitution Alleviation with the mission to protect, heal, empower and support vulnerable children and the youth through music, life skills and education. Today we are celebrating World Music Day. Music means a lot to me. First of all, through music, I get to learn about people's culture, how people from different cultures um, dance, how they collect their food, how they speak their languages, how they make their local foods, and that is through music. Music is also a way of learning about other people's emotions. Through listening to someone's music or watching someone's dance or someone who is dancing, I get to know how someone feels. Someone might be expressing feelings of anxiety, feelings of happiness, feelings of excitement, joy. This is how I also get to express my feelings to the different people that also watch me dance or watch me sing. Through music, I've also got the platform to share my culture and to also learn about people's culture. When I listen to Western music, I get to learn that they use guitars as their local instruments. When they watch our music, our traditional music, they get to learn that drums are the most special and main instrument we use here in our culture. That is how I get to learn about people's culture. And through music, this is where I've got the platform to get education, to share my talent, to be a role model to children in my community and to also travel to the different parts of the world. And I'm very excited and happy that today we are celebrating the International Music Day. In this special day, I would like to honor each and every artist, musician, instrumentalist, and all sorts of music, of musicians. All they have done towards the development of music industry, I personally appreciate. And back to me when I hear the word music, I get down to remember all psychological, mental, and physical transformation it has done to me. Before I realized that music really heals, my heart used to taste like the flavor of an aloe vera. I was full of life of frustration, life of no hope, life of no dream. But through music, I really got to understand that however much the problem may be big, it can really be solved just by mere singing, telling how the story, playing musical instruments, and all various ways. And as I realized that music really heals, I used my little music understandings to pass this to the next generation. I have used music to teach, I have used music to tell the story, and many young people and old people have got to line up behind me through the story I tell through music. Greetings, nice people. I'd like to wish you a happy World Music Day. Before I joined Amnesada, I used to live in the slums of Katwe. And my biggest dream then was to become a thug around the streets. That really tough thug that was going to be feared by everyone. That was my dream because I was inspired by thugs around. When I walked to Emily Sada, I started doing music, but then I got good at trombone. And when I got good at trombone, it helped me a lot to perform around with Emily Sada, marching all around Uganda and doing different, different music programs that Emily Sada linked onto us. These programs were just like orchestras around town, bands around town. And I've actually got an opportunity to study in Africa Music School. I'm doing my certificate in music. My biggest dream is to be a teacher of music, to compose, to be a performer of music. Besides all that, I am also now teaching at Emily Sada Music. It's one of my biggest passions to give back to the kids that I see I almost was like back in the days, back in the, the past years. Thank you so much and I would like to wish you a happy World Music Day. Music to the rescue. Ciao!